Hello, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of the Valder Beebe Show's That Celebrity Interview. Dr. David Sussman, how are you? I'm just quite well, and you? I'm having a wonderful life, and I'm, it just got better with you joining me. <laughs> Happy to be here. Well, I want to talk about, Dr. Sussman is here today with us to talk about, um, I think, a not-so-much-talked-about top, uh, topic, nighttime urination. Is it ruin your relationship? Well, you know, it's, it's one of those things I think that, that a lot of men experience as they get older uh, due to BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia. And one of the most bothersome symptoms of BPH is nighttime urination. And it's not just the, the, the man who's getting up at night, but it's typically their spouse as well. And that's what causes men to get treatment is because the spouse is pretty unhappy that their husband is getting up two, three, four times a night. Okay. Now, why all of a sudden is, is it has something obviously to do with age? It does. It does. As men get older, their prostates enlarge. Uh, the, as the, the enlargement begins to affect the urinary pattern with diminished flow and hesitancy and often nighttime urination. So it's, it's, a, it's a, uh, several symptoms involved with, with BPH, but as I said, it's the nighttime that bothers people the most because they're tired in the morning. They're, they're not getting good night's sleep, and they're fairly unhappy. Their quality of life is really dramatically uh, diminished. Okay, so you guys recently did a study on BPH. So according to the results, what, what, did, what do we need to know? Well, I think there's several interesting points. I mentioned already about the fact that nighttime urination is the most bothersome, and it's often the spouse or significant other who's also bothered by the nighttime urination. The majority of men don't seek treatment for their, their symptoms because they're concerned about the side effects of the treatment. They're worried about sexual dysfunction. They're worried about incontinence. So they often kind of suffer in silence until their, until their wives or, or significant others say, it's time to see the doctor. The good thing is that there are some new technologies available, particularly Eurolift, uh, which is an office-based procedure which really has revolutionized the way we treat BPH. It's done in the office setting, less than an hour. Uh, men are back to their activities and rarely experience any significant sexual side effects or urinary incontinence. Is BPH dangerous or life-threatening? Well, you know, it's not dangerous or life-threatening, but I can, the quality of life can be dramatic. And I think that, that for some men who let things go and aren't treated, potentially there could be some medical issues associated with not treating their BPH. But for the majority of men, it's really a, a problem with their lifestyle. And again, uh, the, the, uh, for some guys, it leads to depression. Uh, it leads to problems at work because they're tired, they're not getting up because of getting up at night. So there's lots of issues that go along with BPH, and I think it's important for everyone to realize that it's a problem that can be treated. It's not a natural thing that, that just because you're getting older, you have to live with these symptoms. Tell me about the Eurolift system, because that seems to be an answer possibly for many people. It is. It's, it's a procedure where the prostate is, is kind of separated or pulled apart thereby creating a larger channel to urinate through. Uh, it relieves the symptoms fairly quickly. And as I said, it's done in the office setting. Uh, men are back to work quickly. Uh, and, and they see a dramatic change in their urinary pattern. They urinate with a better flow. They have less hesitancy. And most importantly, they get up less at night. That's the good side. Everything seems to have a side effect. Is there any side effects? They really are very minimal. Certainly nothing's perfect, but I think... In my experience of doing over 200 cases, I've seen very few problems with this, no sexual side effects in, in my experience, um, and rarely any significant problems with urinary control. And if they do, they're just temporary. So these men have done very well. But I think it's up to the doctor to sit and speak to their patients about what's available and what's best for them. But this has really changed our paradigm in how we treat men with BPH, and I think for the better. 
I want my audience to know that Dr. David Sussman is a urologist, and he's a practicing urologist. Dr. Sussman, where can my audience find out more information about this? Because I'm sure the uh, wives or other significant other want to know more, and the patient would want to know more. Absolutely. There's a great website called urolift.com. It talks about BPH in general and about the procedure in particular. Thank you for talking about this. You know, it's so hard, hard to get guys to talk about stuff, but maybe since you came on and talked about it, maybe we can get some dialogue going. Thank you for being my guest today on the Valder BB Show. My pleasure. Thank you.